How many but, times? How many times have you gone to jail? Uh, no, it's cool. Ask, ask master. It's cool. No, ask master. How many, how many times? Plenty. Ask Evan. master. Yeah. Evan. Ask him where to put the trash can. Ask him where to put it. Lick his boot too while you're at it. You know something? In certain places, you can get free dental work for that. Oh, you think so? Is that a threat? Is that a threat? The Thin Blue Line Flag of Tyranny shirt is finally available. The link to purchase is in the description, so head over there and order today. This design is available on all different styles of shirts and hoodies. Guys, the reason I was in Salt Lake City on October 15th, 2019 is a very long story that I don't even know all the details to and I don't want to screw up. Therefore, the links are in the description to tell the whole story of this gentleman, Rick, who's being sentenced today in federal court. The long and short of it is, he pissed off the wrong master, and they went after him for a decade. It is definitely worth going to look at the whole story and all the details and evidence laid out of what the federal government has done to this man. There's a short section in this video where Ammon Bundy will explain a little bit, but most of this video will be James Freeman doing what James Freeman does. Recording piggies and bootlickers. They hate us for our freedom. We've got some activists down here with signs. We got piggies approaching them. And uh, from what I was told a few minutes ago, the piggies were approaching these people and asking them if they're open carrying. And they told the piggies, the only people we see open carrying is you. How's it going? Great. You got right. a lot of cameras. Yeah, you gotta watch my back, my front, my side. Uh-oh, you must there, be a troublemaker. There's, there's feds around, man. <laughs> These guys are out of prison now. They were in prison for two years and then uh, ended up being acquitted on everything. Um, and Rick is one of the attorneys that helped them. He don't want to stand here, I guess. I guess he don't want to stand outside. This nasty little tyrant right here wants a piece of somebody. Yeah, try and get his name tag here. H U Let me get a little closer and then zoom in. Get his name tag. H U Y N H He wants a piece of somebody. This is probably <laughs> <laughs>
I'll stick with that one. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, I will go. All right, buddy. We're out here to support Rick. We're going to go in the, into the courtroom so the judge can see our support. Um, but our, I guess, goal here, besides showing support to Rick, is to expose basically the facts and events of Rick's case and how, you know, there, there has been a conspiracy, easy to say, a conspiracy between officials of the U, uh, Utah State Government and uh, judges of the U.S. District of Utah and the U.S. Attorney's Office here in Utah. Give me just a brief couple of the points that you said you want to put forward some facts. Give me a couple of those facts. Um, well, uh, first of all, Rick basically, because of his political involvement uh, with uh, with a dinner supporting Rudy Giuliani rather than John McCain, the Republican Party uh, was very uh, distasteful to that action and Rick did raise some money for John McCain earlier around $70,000 but then for Rudy Giuliani he raised around $250,000 and then he didn't invite the Republican Party to that event and this uh, basically uh, infuriated them including the present governor at the time John Huntsman anyway this evolved into basically this state prosecution against Rick uh, but the U Utah Attorney General declined to prosecute Rick by saying that Rick did not break the law in any way. So these same individuals that tried to prosecute Rick went to the federal U.S. to the U.S. Attorney's Office and asked them if they would indict. And they tried to indict, but the grand jury rejected them twice, and they finally illegally obtained some information, and they were able to get an indictment. Rick's been fighting that for 10 years. Uh, it evolved to a basically where the Utah judges uh, in the District of Utah, the district judges, have conspired, and I have the evidence, have conspired against Rick and Marcus Mumford. And that's why this conviction was basically obtained. Uh, and Rick now is facing 20 years in, in a federal prison. So you're going to see Rick up in that courtroom. What are some things that you want to get across to him to let him know, hey man, we're here for you? So personally, I'm not going to go in. I've had my time in those buildings. But I hope that everybody that feels comfortable going in does. And I hope they just show that they love him. That he, so he can know he's not alone. And then he can know that we'll keep fighting and, and shedding the light on this until he gets to come home to his family. Anything else you want to say? No, thank you for your time. Hey, Ammon, you know Jerry Spence? I know of Jerry Spence, yeah. You know, he said he would not practice in the state, or the Tenth Circuit, actually, in the state of Utah, because he says he can't get justice here. This is a guy that's defended right. Randy that's Weaver right. at Ruby Ridge. And he has never lost a case. That's right. And so he refuses to come where he knows he's going to lose a case because it's fixed. It's, Wait, it's fixed. can you say that again? Yeah, Jerry Spence, who defended Randy Weaver, uh -huh. said that he would not practice in the state of Utah specifically, but in the Tenth Circuit. You can't get justice in the Tenth Circuit. I've experienced that personally. You cannot get justice. The, the federal prosecution, the cases against people uh, by the federal prosecution win less than 1% of the time. The only way that people can, or the prosecution can win like that, it's stacked, it's fixed. They don't play by the rule of law. In my, in my experience, I don't think you can get justice in any federal court. <laughs> You need to. Uh, you got something to put in there? No, this is my job. You, uh, you got something to put in there, though? You got a judge for me? A judge? Yeah, for the trash can. Oh. No. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. It says uh, Mafia Judges on the trash can. Yeah. Were you just checking it out or what? I just went in the trash can. Oh, what for? Huh? What are you looking for? Just see if I was in the trash can. What's that? Just see what was in the trash can. Oh, okay. I knew that. Walk around.
around and check out trash cans. Yeah, man. Hey, you know what? I think that dude over there has got uh, weed in his butthole. Yeah, see, I don't care about that. Thing. Are you sure, man? Yeah. You can get up in there and get it. I don't care about that. Either. Officer, we brought that up here. They had provided it for us. Here comes the bootlicker. It was down there. <laughs> you know where we should put it. Asking his masters. Oh, the, the sword <laughs> I don't know if you wear a trash can for a podium. Yes, yes. <laughs> I don't know. Who knows? I could ask somebody. I just didn't know because I don't want to make sure that we. You need help? Oh, no, no, you're fine. I just we can just leave it there or should I roll it around? Let me, let me ask for I don't know. I really don't know. Okay. We're, all right, so I can ask him. Right. I got, more than willing to do I got a recommendation. Uh -huh. you, could, uh, you could be free and independent and figure out what to do with the trash can yourself. I am free and independent. Oh, how many I, times? How many times have you gone to jail? Uh, no, it's cool. Ask, ask master. It's cool. No, ask master. How many, how many times? Plenty. Ask have master. It? Yeah. Have ask it? him where to put the trash can. Ask him where to put it. Lick his boot too while you're at it. You know something? In certain places, you can get free dental work for that. Oh, you think so? Is that a threat? Is that a threat? And he says in certain places you can get free dental work for that. <laughs> Look, I don't know who these guys are, and they may be wonderful people who really think they like liberty. I, I don't know. But I really went back and forth quite a bit on even showing up to this event. Reason is because I've got a lot of respect for Ammon Bundy and the things that he's done, but I know that he's constantly surrounded by these people who praise the blue line who lick the boots of their oppressors while they talk about wanting to be free and independent. Honestly, I don't even know who Rick is, the guy who everyone is here for that's being sentenced today. The only reason I showed up is to record the police, and if the police step in and try to do something that they shouldn't be doing, like searching people's trash cans without a warrant, then I would step in and do what I do. It can be very difficult running the piggies off though when you've got guys like this who can't figure out how to do anything on their own without asking for guidance from a government official.